everyone, my name is Janelle Barbier. Uh, I'm a professor here at Skyline College. Uh, I teach microbiology, which is Bio 240, and I wanted to spend a little time going through the Burgess manuals today, the manuals that I know you will all come to love when we do reports and use them for unknowns. Okay, so off we go. Uh, Burgess manual number one, the Burgess manual of determinative bacteriology. So this manual you'll use quite a bit actually in identification, looking up traits of organisms, really helpful for unknowns. I want to touch on a few things that come from the bacteria report also that we ask you to do. So let's say you've chosen a genus and species and you're ready to go. What do I do with the Burgess Determinative Manual? As an example, Proteus paneri. Sounds good. Let's go for it. Okay. The nice thing about the determinative manual, there's only one volume. You just need to go to the index to look up your bacterium. So I've pre-marked mine, but you can go through alphabetically. I'm scanning through and, oh, I found the genus Proteus. Okay, you'll see a lot of different numbers. You want to focus on the bold number. This one says 184. Okay, so I've again pre-marked mine, but you can come back and find wherever you're looking. Under now, 184, there we go. What you'll notice is that they have a blurb, kind of a few paragraphs on the genus. This contains a lot of useful information on your genus. Okay, hint, hint. When we ask you to think about tests for your genus, this is a great place to look. It summarizes key traits that every species in that genus has. So now I've got the genus information under Proteus, and now I want to go back to Proteus pinari, which is a species under that genus. So if I read through the information under the genus information, I see there are some tables. Okay, so for instance, table 5.28. And I would go further in the manual and find the table I'm looking for, and I found it. Now the table will expand and do a comparison on every species in that genus. So I found again Proteus pinari, and I can start looking down at all the different biochemical tests that are unique to that species. So again, on your assignment, it asks you about key tests for the species. That would be a great place to look. Also, just to reference this, when we look at unknown identification, this will be a great place to compare organisms and see how they differ in the biochemical test reactions. Okay, and that's pretty much the key information you'll get from the determinative manual, mainly around testing uh, and biochemical traits of the organisms. The other key part of mainly your assignment and you might use for identification is using the systematic manual of bacteriology. This one may be a little more intimidating. There's, I don't know, six different volumes or something, a lot going on here. But if you just kind of work in some key steps, I think it will be a lot more manageable. So I would suggest you always start with volume one. Volume one nicely has what's called a roadmap in here that will give you an outline of taxonomy for all the bacteria. So let's stick with our example of Proteus pinari. Okay? So the roadmap actually starts on page 142 and it goes through page 166. Okay, and again, it looks like a lot of information, but it's broken down into a pretty digestible fashion. Starting on 142, all the genera are listed alphabetically. So again, I'll go through and look for, oh, Proteus. Here it is. There's some useful information just right off the bat. It tells me the phylum and the class that Proteus is in, which is part of your assignment. It also tells you what volume I'm going to need to look in for the Proteus information. This says volume two. Okay, so now I know where to go to check for additional information. So I've got now the phylum, the class, still missing some taxonomic information. So I'm going to look and see that I'm under proteobacteria phylum, gamma proteobacteria class. Now I can continue on in the roadmap and find the complete taxonomy. Okay, so I've gone through now, oh, and I've found my proteobacteria, gamma proteobacteria, 
Now I can continue on and look at the rest of the information for Proteus. And it tells me the order, the family, and then of course lists my Proteus genus. So that gives you the complete taxonomic information, again, in this roadmap in volume one. The other things you might want to do after that, it asks for a little bit more information on the habitat or who discovered the organism or maybe unique features. Then you can go to the appropriate volume and kind of read in depth. So a lot of the information in the determinative manual is reiterated in systematic. It's just expanded on. So we get a lot bigger picture of the organism. So again, volume two was what I was told to look for. I've pre-marked mine, but you could look in the table of contents, find where Proteus is, how do you know what volume you're in. And again, I see a lot of information. It starts out the same fashion, where we have a lot of information on the genus. It actually gives you more information here, because this is a, an expanded volume. It has a lot of pages on the discovery, the naming of the organism, so you can learn a lot of details now about the organism, if you wish. It talks about culturing, special characteristics that also might be useful in your paper. Also, it will go through and write, not just in tables, but summarize all the traits of the different species. So again, a lot of information. You know, for instance, there's Proteus panari again. It tells you who discovered it tells you where it grows best, how is it related to pathogenicity. All that information is here. And then it again has tables, okay? So to reiterate, uh, you know, with your paper, I would use both volumes to find the information, both determinative and systematic. When you start going through unknowns, I would really recommend that you start with determinative. It's a much more digestible volume book just to compare different organisms. And then once you've kind of narrowed down your search, I would come and do some deeper research in systematic. It will really help you finalize your identification, give you a lot of the information you will need to write your unknown paper. Okay, and I think that's all the information I have. I hope that's useful to you. Have a great day.